School is out now that summer has here. But what do you do on rainy days when everyone is stuck inside? Games are an excellent method to gain some peace and quiet if you find yourself with a restless child. In light of this, we've chosen some of our best kid-friendly mobile games. Townscaper is a sandbox game that's all about building beautiful Italian cities in the middle of the ocean. Building these gorgeous towns is as simple as tapping on the screen. Literally, that's it. So easy a young child can do it which is why Townscaper is an excellent game for children. There's nothing to read, and there are no goals. The game looks great, it plays great, and there are no goals. Plus, there's no need to read. It's a perfect game for all ages, and it's a hoot to boot, so don't miss out. This one's a classic in waiting. LEGO Duplo Marvel. This brand-filled game title may be confusing, Seeing Duplo, Lego, and Marvel all team up for one game. But that's what a good superhero game is all about, teamwork. Within, you'll find a few different minigames, and you can even purchase more games once you run through what's provided. Heck, if you don't want to purchase new minigames piecemeal, there's an optional subscription that will provide access to every minigame released. So if you or your kid is a fan of Lego, Duplo, or Marvel, there's actually a lot to like here that little kids can easily handle. Thanks to the bite-sized gameplay that offers more than a few enjoyable scenarios staring everyone's favorite Marvel characters in Duplo Lego form. Pokémon Playhouse Unlike most Pokémon games on mobile devices, Pokémon Playhouse is entirely free and designed to appeal to children kids can easily interact with several different Pokémon while exploring various locations, and there's even a grooming aspect that's similar to what you would find in a Tamagotchi game. All in all, this is a casual exploration game that offers a few minigames, all designed to target kids between the ages of 3 and 5, so it is the perfect introduction to the property for children that can't yet read. Molly of Denali Go on an Alaskan adventure comes from PBS Kids, and it is a tie-in product for the station's TV show of the same name. This is a kid's game that targets children ages 4-8, and it offers minigames themed around the show where the player can explore nature. It's a free release that does not contain any in-app purchases or advertisements. So if you're looking for a fair game for children between the ages of 4 and 8, Molly of Denali is a safe choice. Pet Bingo by Duck Duck Moose is an educational math game intended for children between the ages of 5-10. Not only is the title completely free to download and use, but it contains a whole slew of math skills to learn. This includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, measurements, and geometry. This way, your child should be covered no matter their current learning level. Plus, if you find you would like more content, you can simply check out the rest of Duck Duck Moose's excellent catalog. Little Inferno Tomorrow Corporation has offered several quirky games for mobile, and the quirkiest is Little Inferno, a game all burning toys in a fireplace. Trial and error is often the key to success, which means just about anyone can play, including small children. After all, who doesn't get a kick out of lighting stuff on fire, especially kids? So instead of letting little Jimmy burn your house down as he experiments with real matches, why not let the little devil live out his destructive fantasies through this quirky and enjoyable game? Toka Kitchen 2 Toka Boca is one of those publishers that stick to their guns. Not only are all of their games free of in-app purchases, but they are also open-ended and gender-neutral. Their most popular release, Toka Kitchen 2, is, in my opinion, a perfect example of their ethical design. In the same vein as Cooking Mama, it is a fun little cooking game that allows kids to explore any wacky combination of food they can think of, to then serve it to an NPC for humorous results. Tornado Time Free is an older game, but it's a good one. It's simple in scope, as there's only one stage, and you only have one goal. Destroy as much of the town as possible. Basically, it is your job to get the highest score you can by demolishing a small town. 
While this type of setup is repetitive in nature, I doubt many children will notice the lack of variety. Plus, it's super fun to destroy the town over and over again. What kid wouldn't enjoy that? Gakko Zoo – Paint and Play Gakko Zoo offers an enjoyable game where you can raise zoo animals as well as paint them. Heck, you can even invent new species of animals if that's what floats your boat. Essentially, this is a title that mixes together the fun of a painting app with the joy you can get from taking care of digital creatures. So if you enjoy feeding animals as well as slathering them with beautiful colors, then this is the game for you, you weirdo! Starfall is an educational app that offers simple content for pre-K users through third grade. The app provides many games that delve into popular subjects like reading, math, and even singing. An internet connection is required to play, so this is a title best played at home. So if your child is just learning their ABC and 123s, Starfall is a quality choice that won't break the bank. Pikmin Bloom Niantic is well known for its augmented reality collection, game Pokemon Go, and is at the forefront of AR tech. Even though most of the studio's games follow a similar design, Pikmin Bloom is a little different from the rest. This is a game about walking, and the goal, always, is to walk, so think of it as a fun step counter. What makes it fun is that the entire thing is themed around Nintendo's Pikmin franchise, and you'll get to grow Pikmin from seedlings with every step you take. Yes, the game does contain in-app purchases, but the shortcuts Niantic sells aren't necessary if your goal is to walk. So if you'd like to get your kid out and about with an app that encourages healthy activity, perhaps Pikmin Bloom is what you're looking for. LEGO City Explorers is a rocket launching game, much like Kerbal Space Program. It's inspired by NASA, and so it contains a bunch of videos of real-life astronauts at work, which I would have loved as a kid. It would also appear that the game ties into a few of LEGO's retail models, which should add an extra layer of interactivity to the game if you plan on purchasing those specific products for your kids. Playmobil Mars Mission Much like LEGO, Playmobil tends to release free mobile games as advertising for its block-building toy line. These games are often delightful, and Playmobil Mars Mission definitely fits with this description. It serves as an educational game of sorts, though much of the gameplay revolves around collection-based missions. Despite the slightly repetitive gameplay, it's a fun little game, though I'm not too sure how educational it actually is. At the very least, your kids should have a blast as they explore Mars in this Playmobil release. Kids is an odd little game that only lasts up to 30 minutes of playtime, so be aware that this is a title that's more about the experience than it is about long-lasting gameplay. Luckily, what's beneath the surface is worth the asking price. The black and white art is probably the first thing most people will notice, which is simple yet striking. The gameplay, if you can call it that, revolves around moving with and against crowds to see which choices empty the stage first. The mechanics are intuitive, and the black and white cartoony design should appeal to children, making this a fun little title to play around with just to see what happens. If your favorite game is not included in this list, write in the comments. Thanks for watching. Subscribe our channel, watch our other videos, press like, turn on notifications, and you will always be aware of what to play today.